Alright everyone, welcome back to the second part of this video. In this video I am going to show you how to configure TP-Link 300 Mbps wireless and USB ADSL2 plus modem router with the MTN broadband and you can configure this any of the broadband like uh, BSNL, Airtel and there is so many service providers. Alright, so just uh, type the 192.168.1.1 in your browser alright and press enter then you will see the page something like this and just type the admin in the username and the type in the admin and the password as well but I'm change it okay so don't look at this all right now you can see the uh, device information something like this but uh, it's already set up so just you need to go to the quick setup uh, it's uh, mentioned on the left side of the second menu and just click on the next you don't need to adjust too many things it's uh, very easy and uh, quickly so just press next and you can choose whatever you want to configure with this router plus modem I'm just gonna use the ADSL modem router if you have a 3D dongle as well or you have some external USB internet device so you can enable this as well alright or if you want to use this modem as per only router purpose so you can check this one here alright so just press the next button the country where you from just select the country and the ISP uh, the internet service provider actually I'm using uh, the MTNL broadband so I'm just using the MTNL alright you can choose the BSNL, Airtel, Reliance, Tata, Connect and any other if you have something else uh, service provider so you can choose the other alright and the rest of the setting it will take automatically automatically sorry and make sure you type your username as your phone number which mtnl provides you and the triple p password is your customer id number it is mentioned on your bill all right so make sure you type the your customer id in your password all right and this is the default setting and you don't need to change this just click the next all right and in this page you just need to enable the wireless if you want to connect your wireless device as well and just type your wireless device name over here and the network authentication uh, it's a wp2 personal best and recommended actually mostly people using this because this is very secured and the very uh, you can say no one cracked this uh, w wpa2 personal uh, setting all right just press your uh, secured password over here make sure you use uh, something uh, difficult password like uh, some bigger alphabet some smaller and some numeric characters all right and just press next over here and then you can see your final settings all right and i'm sure you you will not uh, face any problem in this all right. all right if you are facing some problems so just uh, message me on my youtube channel then i will try to resolve your problem all right so stay tuned with my youtube channel thanks for watching my video i hope this video is very useful for you and in my next video i um, will show you how to configure your usb setting with tp link device all right thanks for watching